Hey there, I'm about to try something new and thought, let me share it. I'm going to try to make a mason jar ice cream that is keto friendly. Ingredients are a cup of heavy whipping cream, uh, one tablespoon of cocoa powder. I have the Hershey's cocoa naturally unsweetened. So a tablespoon of this, um, two tablespoons of sweetener. I'm going to use a little bit of my monk fruit sweetener, but I'm also going to actually add in a little bit of salted caramel sugar-free syrup. Um, it also calls for a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And one extra thing I'm going to add in mine, I bought some slivered almonds. So I'm going to try to make a almond salted caramel mason jar keto friendly ice cream. Real simple. Again, I have a little jar to put it in. And literally, you mix the ingredients up, shake it for about five minutes. Supposedly, it's going to double in size. And then we just freeze it for anywhere from three to six hours. So let's see what's what. So again, this is the, my very first time making this. Fingers crossed that it turns out well. But it calls for a cup of heavy whipping cream. Let's get this poured in. And the recipe calls for you literally pouring everything into the mason jar and using a little bit of uh, arm muscle to get it all done. I've already added in my one tablespoon of cocoa powder into the jar already. So we'll add the cup of heavy whipping cream. It calls for two tablespoons of sweetener, but I'm only going to do one because I'm going to add some additional sweetener in mine. So let's add that one in there. That one, I did one tablespoon of that. I'm going to also add in a tablespoon of my sugar-free caramel. I'm actually going to do it with the chocolate to get the leftover residue out of here if possible. Not, not so much, but it'll still be good. And then it also calls for one teaspoon of vanilla flavor. I am really not a big sweet eater at all, but every now and again, you just wanna have something. So that's the base of everything. I have almonds to add in. Well, I'm just gonna pour some almonds in anyway. <laughs> I first was gonna wait until I mixed it all up, but I'll put a few in here now anyway. And literally, uh, you're just supposed to shake it up. But let me make sure I have all of our ingredients. Cup of heavy whipping cream, two tablespoons of sweetener, one tablespoon of cocoa powder, a teaspoon of vanilla. I got it all. And it literally says just shake and it freeze and then enjoy. Now, the recipe did say that you would have to shake for, sorry that I'm out of the frame, that you may need to shake for like five minutes or something just to get everything mixed in together and it should double in size so you know we were about halfway full uh on here so we'll see if it really does fill all the way up and we'll get the rest of that chocolate all added in and dissolved if it doesn't add mix up too well i'm gonna pull out my little handy dandy um whisker <laughs> to get the rest of the chocolate mixed in if it doesn't mix in well. I definitely hear the almonds <laughs> mixing around in there too. So looking forward to having a nice easy ice cream dessert. If it's going to be like this full, this is going to probably last me a month because for me with sweets, I don't need a whole lot. So sometimes just a tablespoon or whatever is good. I'm literally one of the people that just need a taste. Oh, yeah, it's mixing up. See, just got a little bit more in here. And I guess it is sort of a workout, right? I need to get these arms together anyway. <laughs> so nice, easy, simple, a great dessert. Fingers crossed that it works out well. And then it's something that you too can use um, to enjoy a little sweet treat as you continue enjoying um, a keto way of eating. Let's see, what are we looking like? Oh, goody, okay, so all that's done. So I'm gonna continue to shake a little bit more and see how full we get. 
as you know, when you, you have whip, heavy whipping cream, when you beat it, it just gets super um, fluffy and becomes actual whipped cream. So I'm looking forward to enjoying this. Smells good. I even smell the caramel already. Shake, 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 shake. I'm going to show you what it looks like. You see our nice chocolatey color, of course, from the cocoa powder. Let's see how much did it come to the top. Oh, it definitely has. It's definitely, oh, let's see. Well, you can see it's, it's pretty much up to here now. <laughs> pretty much up to here. So let me do a little bit of more, more shaking. Then I'm going to have it in the, in the freezer for anywhere from three to six hours. The recipe does suggest that you check it. Maybe after the first hour, shake it more, and then let it continue to freeze. So uh, I'll finish shaking, and into the freezer it will go, and I'll show you our finished product in soon, once it's done in a few hours. All right, let's see what we get. All righty, I've had it in the freezer for just one hour. I just wanted to check it out and see what it looks like. Let's see what we got. Tiny bit of froth starting to form around the rim of the mason jar. Ooh, it tastes good. I actually got a spoon so I could taste it. But um, nice, easy, simple. You see again the heavy whipping cream. Oh yeah, go around the jar. You can. So it's starting to uh, freeze up again. We're only about an hour in so far. Stirring it from the bottom just to ensure we get some nice creaminess going on as it continues to set. So again, this was just one hour in. The various recipes I saw called for anywhere between three hours and six hours. So one hour in, I'll do this. I'm gonna let it stay in now for the next two to three hours for sure. But let's do a little taste test and see what we got. Delicious. I know it's going to be a very, very delicious treat to enjoy. Keto ice cream. I have another recipe up on my site. Kale chips. I am a big potato chip eater. If you guys like chips, looking for a keto-friendly crunchy snack, check out that video as well. I will come back and show you the finished product to show you the consistency once this is actually frozen. Okay, no more shake shake. It's only, ooh, it's frozen though. It's only been a couple hours, but I couldn't wait, so I want to try it. And it is frozen. <laughs> I want to stir it because I think, you see the bottom, my almonds are on the bottom, the slivered almonds. Oh, wow. It. I should have showed you that little consistency first, so... This was the first little piece. Definitely looks like ice cream. I'm going to stir it up because I want some of the almonds. That was the whole point of me. I'm doing it. Salted caramel chocolate almond. Okay, yep. We got to the bottom of it, as you can see. See the glass on the bottom. And this is just to do a quick little taste. I'm excited <laughs> and I wanted to do it fresh with you not you know have it already ready to go we'll see that consistency and if when I have this little taste I'm probably gonna like be done and not even need more it is nice and creamy And it tastes really good. And because it's mine, ooh, it's nice and sweet. Nice and easy. Again, heavy whipping cream is always good. So with the, I did chocolate caramel, salted caramel, cocoa, and a little bit of vanilla. And the slivered almonds definitely adds to it. 
It's a good thing. It's tasty. Really tasty. So definitely try this out. Nice, easy, simple recipe. As you saw from the beginning, try to make some ice cream yourself. Keto mason jar ice cream. Leave me a comment if you try it yourself. Let me know what you think. I also have another snacky video up. Um, I make keto chips. I baked kale chips. So a nice keto friendly recipe. They're nice and crispy. Check out how these were done also. <laughs> so a couple easy desserts that are 100% keto friendly. This ice cream is going to be thebomb.com. Make it and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Peace.